Hey there guys, this is Cobb and this is the 5.2 PTR and a hell of a lot is going to change. In this video I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the changes, um, I'm going to show you what I think is going to be the new Destro Talent build and I'm going to show you some 2v2 action at the end of the video so you guys can see all the changes uh, in play. So this is what our talent tree currently looks like for arenas and rated battlegrounds. Uh, and first things first, Blood Fear has been made utterly useless. Uh, it costs you 20% of your maximum health now, it's on a 30 second cooldown, and it's basically applied as a buff that's going to fear the next melee attacker. So it's now completely useless for peeling casters, maybe for your teammates in 3v3 arena. Um, it's useless now for CCing healers, which was obviously its main usage. Uh, it just isn't viable anymore, and in a way that's kind of irritating, but it also means less instant cast CC in the game overall, which I'm very happy about. Uh, Blood Fear was overpowered, and while basically removing it was overkill by Blizzard, it's definitely not the end of the world. We've been casting normal fears um, since the start of Vanilla, uh, so I'm sure we can cope, guys. And now seeing as though Burning Rush is a waste of pixels on your monitor, uh, that means Unbound Will is going to be the new way to go. Without Blood Fear we're going to be casting Fears again normally and this means that Kill Jaden's Cunning has become way more viable to help land CC on healers. Um, now that we have to cast almost everything again, Haste has also uh, become a really good idea for Destro. I mean I'm not 100% sure on this yet but with all of the cast times that Destro has to deal with already, having to cast Fear too, that extra Haste, stacking up Haste is really going to help us out. So it might be the next stat priority. I've stacked up almost 17% haste on the PTR right now and I could probably go a little bit higher and it seems to work pretty well. Now the last main thing I want to go over is Warlock survivability. Pet specs have taken basically a massive blow to your survivability if you're going to run with a pet and that's because the shield you get from Sacrificial Pact has been halved. The nerf to Sacrificial Pact really wasn't needed, they only went for it because Soul Link was so shit. So if you're going to run with a pet spec now, I'm going to be honest, I really don't know which survival cooldown I would pick. But what this basically means is what it meant before, and that's uh, despite even, even despite a small damage nerf to Grimoire Sacrifice, it's still definitely going to be the way to go for competitive PvP. There's an awesome new glyph called the Glyph of Ember Tap, and this is going to increase your Ember Tap heal by 50%, which is fucking massive. And I mean, like all Warlock heals, Ember Tap of course heals you for a percentage of your maximum health. So if we go Soul Link spec and sacrifice our pet, we get nearly 500k health. We all know this, I think. Um, but our new Glyphed Ember Tap is actually going to heal us then for 175k and over 200k if you have Dark Regeneration popped when you use the Ember Tap. And this is just insane, but considering that all Destrolocks now get 4 Ember slots baseline, it's just incredibly sick. So in a nutshell, Blood Fear is gone, so we're testing out Haze now for quicker fears. Um, our self heals are amazing with the new Glyph of Ember Tap, uh, if you combine it with Soul Link and Sack. And lastly, I want to give you guys a quick heads up on two other classes, and those classes are Monk and Rogue. Rogues are basically gods. Uh, preparation now gives them back their Cloak of Shadows as well, um, and also Vanish. So I mean, against casters, they might as well have four bubbles. Uh, they're very, very strong right now and will 100% make a comeback in the next patch. Basically, every single WLS that you meet in 3v3s is now just going to become an RLS. And now Monks, they're pretty much a combination now of a Death Knight and a Rogue. Uh, no, but I'll be honest, I really have no idea what the fuck they do. All I know is that they hit very, very hard. They have very strong self-healing, the most mobility in the game by a, by a lot. They have a shit ton of instant cast CCs, which are almost all physical debuffs by the way, so they're all undispellable CCs. Um, and all that among spells like Diffuse Magic, which is just another name for AMS, they're incredibly strong. So anyway, that ends the quick rundown of the main things to expect coming in the patch. Um, I think I've blabbered on a little bit too much already, it's been like over 5 minutes now I think. Um, but yeah, here's some 2v2 games from the PTR, playing Destro, uh, Elemental Shaman. And I'm going to be using the new talent build that I showed earlier in the video. Thank you all for watching, stay Destro, and I'll see you all in the next video, guys. And he didn't even use the second grip. If he comes out, can you hex him? We can go through it. Yep. I'm laying the offensive portal there. Hexen. I feel Drew, we can go through it.
Going through it now really hard. I'm gonna stop DK now. Oh my god, we like global in him. <laughs> See? Ascendance. Shockwave! For lock and druid, for lock and druid. I'm gonna stun this warrior now. Stun, chaos ball. Nice. Let's get them. Pop everything. Paladin's gonna be dead. Ripping the hunter now. My pet's not even sacked. I'm fearing that guy. Fearing his trinket probably. I did. Stunned him, he's got no trinket, get him down. Feed the mage, mage is going down too. I'm sacked. Ah, oh, that guy stopped me from getting on him. God damn it. Oh, you're up. Roughing all over it. Oh god, no, I got them both! There's two of them. I'm fearing them. Oh, oh, keep yourself up. Screw you, allies. It's a good job we came out of that arena when we did. 